Hi everyone. If you own a mobile control 2 from ESU, you find it a bit annoying to go use it and find it discharged because you forgot to charge it the night before, as it seems to discharge pretty quickly. Consider making a charging station you could just sit it in. This is what I'm doing now. So the components I decided to put together are this small board and some pieces of finishing. It's a plasticized finish. And uh, now that I've cut everything, I'll just glue them all together. These are the dimensions of what I've cut. I'm just going to use two screws, screwed from the back, and I'll just solder the two wires to the screws from a USB cable. The USB cable is simple one I had, and the charger happens to be a 2 amp uh, Samsung that I've had for quite a long time. Here I've measured 15 millimeters up from the bottom and because the width with the sides is 65 millimeters in my model. I've measured in 15. The, the distance from the sides to the contacts are 10 millimeters, so add whatever additional side width you need on each side. In my case, it was only 5 millimeters on each side. And here's the result uh, after I put everything together. I'll call this my prototype because I'm not too pleased with the cuts and the joinery. But uh, this plastic siding, the white, is uh, not the easiest to, to fit well. I'll color in the, the wood there. Once I'm done, I wanted to make sure it would charge properly, which it, it does. And uh, just set it down and that's it. I'll show it to set up on the layout next. Welcome to the train room. Here is the setup with my new charging station for the Mobile Control 2. So now you simply drop it on the base, charges, or you just pick it up and away you go. I put a pad in the back there to hold the top up which I figured would put more pressure on the two pins on the bottom. As I said earlier, I'll color that in, make it look clean. <laughs> 